There are a lot of things you can do with objects or pictures in your flip chart. So I'm just going to show some of the actions that you can take on your objects. As you can see, I'm in a brand new flip chart page. First thing I'm going to do is add a background. So I'm going to go over here to my beginning resource folder. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to capture the ocean side backdrop and just drag that in there. Now with my objects, I'm also going to scroll down and I'm going to find, well, let's grab the little boy playing soccer. So I'm going to grab that little boy and put him right in the middle of my background. Make sure he's standing. So at this point we're going to talk about all the different things that you can do with an object. An object is anything that sets on top of the background. This includes text in boxes as well as pictures. So some of the things that we can do. By one click on the object, you'll notice we get these handles that show up all the way around and a menu bar across the top. These are the tools that you can use to manipulate objects. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to make that little boy bigger or smaller, depending on what we want. The bar, using the X, you can move it around and put it anywhere you want. The next one over is the rotate object. So I can turn my object so you can jump for the soccer ball. This one will open up the menu and to go with that object. The other way to get that menu is to right click and you get the same menu. The next is the transparency. So when you click on that you can slide it and make him disappear or show up so you can make things show through them especially helpful for your shapes this one menu item is not highlighted right now um, you need to have two objects or more we'll be dealing with that in a few minutes that's grouping these two work together this is working within layers brings him forward closer to you this one will push him further back. This is the duplicate and you notice as I hover my mouse over it, it will duplicate it. I can see exactly what each button does. This will make it larger and this will make it smaller. So we're going to practice with each one of those. We're going to make our little boy bigger. Notice when you do you have to keep moving your mouse and then smaller. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a copy of him. So by going into using the duplicate bar, we can make as many as we want. And so for your assignment, you're going to need at least four objects in your screen. So I'm going to drag him, bring him around. This is my original. If you read the instructions, it says to do various activities with each one. So one, we can make smaller and use either the button or the handles. One, we will make larger. One, we will rotate. Um, one, we can make him slightly transparent, little ghost boy. And on this one, we're going to do a couple of things with the menu. So I'm going to click on that menu so you can see everything that we can do. Um, probably the most important, the one you use the most, is drag a copy. If you click on drag a copy, it changes so that every time we touch that picture 
we can get a new copy. We can turn that off. And you'll notice right now we can move him. The other thing you're going to use a lot is locked. So if I lock it, now all of a sudden I can't move him no matter what I do. There's this one I can click and drag. So that was the first step. We needed to do a variety of things with objects. The next step is going to be labeling them. So now that I have all of my objects, I'm actually going to label what I did to each one. Um, I'm going to make yellow background and dark blue words. So I'm going to make him smaller. This one I'm labeling with larger. This is a rotate. This is transparent. This is my original. This one is locked. Now this last little guy, I'm going to do one more thing with him. And that is, I'm going to right click we're going to look at this uh, transform menu. The transform menu allows us to mirror. If I click on mirror, I will have two separate ones over the x-axis. Or I can mirror over the y-axis. And when you'll notice when you mirror, you leave the same one there. If I click on transform this time and I just flip him on the y-axis, it actually takes my original object and flips him over. So we're going to go with that. And I'm going to put the label here. All right. Now, the next thing we're going to learn is grouping objects. This is really helpful if you're doing vocabulary and you want to find pictures and connect them to words. So what we're going to do is we need to, oops, I'll back in here. You notice when I click now, I have the little boy. And if I hold my shift, The easiest way I want to capture both the boy and the word, I'm going to click and drag around both. Now my grouping button is enabled. So now if I click that, the original and the little boy is together. I'm going to repeat that for my transparent so that I can see it's my transparent little boy. There's my rotated little boy grouped together. And the little boy I made larger grouped. My flipped. And you'll notice when I click that, that icon turns green or yellow. And now I'm going to capture my little guy. That leaves me with my locked. And what you'll find is because this object is locked. I cannot lock him to it. In order to do that, I have to unlock him first. I need to go over here and put it in design mode, which is this little red button clear at the top. Now I can unlock him, group the two, and now I can lock them both in place. Oops. Oh, I'm in design view. And now my lock is off. And I am unable to move him. 
So that's how you complete the assignment of manipulating objects and using the menu.